Rulon Gardner back on the mat, first time in almost eight years, and just your overall thoughts on today. Well, uh, today was a good experience. I think a learning experience. The very last mat with uh, you know match with the Italian, um, close um, close arm spinning almost got on me at the very end. Um, you know, it didn't get scored. Could have been, should have been points. But uh, I think besides that, the rest of the day was really good. My movement was good. Strong, powerful, quick, still a little big. But then ultimately this last situation, you know, that was probably the best learning experience for me to remember, you know, you got to change your level. If you're going to get aggressive against these wrestlers, you've got to be able to change your level and stay in good position. What was it like to be in a competitive situation? I mean, it's been a long time. Well, after uh, almost eight years of uh, zero activity in the sport of wrestling, now to be back training, this is uh, it's a blast again. It's fun again. It's fun to be around uh, you know buyers and the guys that I wrestled with back in the day, but then also all the young guys in America that I think uh, need to have a good impression put upon them because uh, this being an Olympic year, there's a lot of expected out of us in Greco-Roman wrestling, maybe not in the country, but I think we should expect more out of our wrestlers, and hopefully me being here shows them, you know what, he's 40 years old, he was overweight, he was this, he wasn't this, all those limitations, you know, they're just limitations. I think you got to be able to push through, work through the mental uh, barriers that you put up and just go out there and succeed. And I think uh, America, I think Greco-Roman wrestling has a future and we need to continue to believe that. Right. What's your plan uh, going down the road as we, as we get close to the Olympic trials? I mean, kind of what's your plan? Um, my plan over the next few months uh, heading into the Olympic trials is just train here at the Olympic Training Center, train with the best guys in the world, work with Tremil Byers, and, uh, you know, me making the Olympic team, I hope, or him making the team, you know, help him get ready to win a medal. You know, this last Olympics in uh, Beijing 08 was the last time in three Olympics that we hadn't, you know, it was the first time in three Olympics we hadn't won a medal in Greco-Roman heavyweight wrestling. And I think, uh, you know, it's time for us to get back on the podium again. It's time for us to, you know, lead by example in America. You know, heavyweights have always been the big dominant group and I think it's time to continue that. And as, as far as bringing your weight down, uh, I mean, where are you sitting right now? And I mean, how, I mean, how do you plan on you know, dropping back down to 264? You know, for me right now, I'm still big. I, I came off the biggest loser almost at my Olympic weight. But when I came home, I, I felt like I was a little bit weak. I felt like I wasn't as strong as I could have. I actually wrestled uh, Justin Ruiz and he could beat me, you know, the week I got off the biggest loser. And so I realized I needed to get stronger. But then with that, I put more weight back on. But now I'm within 30 pounds of getting back to heavyweight and it's you know exciting to be back close to my uh, you know weight again and uh, be able to compete against these guys because you know you go out there even though you're a little bit bigger and stronger you can't just lay on them to win the match you know for me my philosophy is go out there and out work them out position them out work them out score them and hopefully out win mm -hmm. you've been on two olympic teams we're into the olympic year i mean how exciting is this when you get this close to an olympics you know, this this year being an Olympic year, heading into London 2012, there's a lot of excitement, but then also there's a lot of added extra pressure because these guys are expected to perform a whole new level. And if you've never been to the Olympic trials or the Olympic games before, it's an experience walking in the venue, walking into the Olympic opening ceremonies and seeing all the fans and knowing at home that there's millions of people cheering you on. And some people feel like that's pressure, but I think in America, you know, and especially wrestling, you know, we need to come to expect to be out out there on that stage we need to come to expect to be victorious and I think the only place uh, America will be happy is when we have a medal around our uh, our necks and you'll know, come back and just show that uh, all these youth amateur wrestling that come up through the leagues in America it has a working place it has an opportunity to go after college you know college you become good the Olympics, you become truly great. And I think that's something we need to let these young kids realize. You know what, the NCAA is a, is a good tournament, but if you truly want to become a master of the sport of wrestling, the Olympic level is a whole new world. And it's an opportunity, and it's a it's a fun place to be able to be a comp you know, competitor, but then the competition level is so amazing to be able to compete against the best of the world. Mm -hmm. Last question, just the Kiki Cup. Great opportunity for the Greco guys <coughs> to get a lot of experience and matches. Just your thoughts on competing in this event. 
you know, the Kiki Cup was uh, an amazing experience for me, definitely, because I didn't have to cut my weight down and get down to where I was really hurting in the competition. But then what it allows is all these younger wrestlers. We had four American U.S. teams here being able to dual meet the different countries. But then ultimately, there's no pressure worrying about winning a medal, worrying about winning this. It's all about going out there and figuring out how you're doing in the sport of wrestling. You know, maybe you want to go out and try some stuff that you've never done before in competition. If it works here, those could be the techniques that you use at the Olympics of this year in 2012. And so I think a tournament like this, you know, two, three months before the Olympic trials is something good because it takes all the pressure off you. Now it's just an opportunity to go out there and try things that hopefully can help you win and uh, make the Olympic team.